In this video, I'm going to answer the question, what is agentic AI? And what are AI agents? Agentic AI systems can act autonomously to achieve specific goals. Agentic AI does this by breaking the tasks into specific steps that it can follow. But unlike robotic process automation, or RPA, it can figure out what the appropriate responses are without having to be fully pre-programmed with set algorithms. In this way, agentic AI systems can act autonomously. They can set and they can pursue their own goals and they can respond using their own logic to the context in which they find themselves. As that context changes, so does the agentic AI's response. So unlike more traditional systems, agentic AI learns from its experiences and adapts. It makes its own decisions as circumstances change. All this means that agentic AI can perform very complex tasks like controlling autonomous vehicles, delivering personalized healthcare, and even assisting in scientific research. So how does agentic AI work? Agentic AI uses natural language processing to discuss requirements with its operator and to confirm what it's going to do. And it uses machine learning to adapt to the situation and improve its performance as it goes. The AI agent is a bundle of capabilities all brought together in one package. It can interpret and respond to commands, prompts and decisions set by its human originators. It can access multiple sources of data and interpret data in many different formats. And it can deploy a range of AI and non-AI tools. In the goal initialization step, the core AI model responds to the user's prompts. It can gather data to interpret those prompts and put them in context from a wide range of sources, which now includes the internet. It uses all of this to determine a set of goal-directed steps that it can take. These are actions that it can take to impact its environment, whether it's the real world or a virtual environment. And it does this through what are known as actuators. The AI agent then assesses the impact of its actions through one or more sensory tools or sensors. It uses the data from its sensors to evaluate the effectiveness of the actions that is taken and then to refine its goal and determine its next steps. Through this cycle, some agents can learn and update themselves. The great thing about AI agents is that users do not need to send a continuous stream of prompts to cause actions. They can act autonomously once they've been set off. The user gives them an objective or a stimulus that prompts the start of their behavior and it continues until the defined endpoint. Although users can specify breaks in their action for decisions by the user. So what can AI agents and agentic AI be used for? I don't know how far agentic AI will go, but I do know that it is already being used for an astonishingly wide array of applications. These applications include software development, medical diagnosis and prescribing, cybersecurity monitoring and response, financial market analysis and trading execution, content and social media marketing, sales lead generation and nurturing, autonomous robots and drones, customer service and customer support, recruitment advertising, application screening, assessments and process scheduling, staff training, support and coaching, supply chain optimization, vendor management, reordering and inventory control, personal productivity and meeting support, and in our domain, project management requirements gathering, user story creation, scheduling and budgeting, 
resource allocation and resource management, stakeholder analysis and communication, and risk identification, analysis and planning. The benefits of all this are many and should be reasonably obvious. Three of the key ones for me are, first of all, efficiency. It takes very little human intervention once you set up your agent and set it on its way. Secondly is 24 by 7 operation. AI agents can work without sleep and not make mistakes while they do it. And thirdly, data driven decision making. AI agents don't have a hunch, although they may have biases if they're not constructed properly. But given the way they are programmed, they are driven by the data they encounter along the way to make decisions that are robust. I mentioned robotic process automation at the start of this video, and I've done a video about it. So uh, what precisely is the difference between agentic AI and RPA, robotic process automation? The main difference lies in what they know and how they adapt to changing circumstances. RPA automates repetitive rule-based tasks using structured data and following predefined scripts. It knows what it's been programmed to know. And it follows a process that has been set out for it by a human programmer. AI agents, on the other hand, can handle unstructured data. If they can learn, they can adapt, and they can make their own decisions based on the data that they encounter. As a result, they can handle use cases and make decisions in contexts that have not been anticipated by their programmer. They can respond to the way the world evolves, even if they don't have the explicit programming to tell them what to do. Essentially, RPA mimics human actions that have been taught to it. Agentic AI, on the other hand, mimics, to a high degree, human thought and reasoning and response to its environment. Finally, I want to consider the future of agentic AI and the concerns that we might have about it. The future of agentic AI does raise ethical concerns about safety and security, privacy, accountability, and potential bias. As this technology continues to advance, we, human beings, need to address these concerns with some serious thought. It is our responsibility to ensure that we use it properly to give true benefits to society and mitigate, as far as we possibly can, the potential risks. These challenges include accountability, transparency, bias and pre-programmed prejudices, oversight and governance, confidentiality and privacy, security and the safety of people impacted by its decisions, and control of the threat of either malfunction or runaway processing based on a single error that can compound over iteration and iteration and iteration. One solution to this is human in the loop frameworks that put a human being into the process. Here, the actions of the agent will pause from time to time to allow human intervention and to control the way that it's going. The agent will send a notification to a human operator. The human operator will review the status and the decisions that the agent is going to make. They can assess the information that the agent has and consider the tasks that the agent is scheduling. They can then either approve the next steps or make changes to how the agent operates from this point on. Another big challenge is the question of who is to blame if an AI system makes a mistake and causes some form of damage. This is a challenge that is genuinely limiting the adoption of autonomous self-driving vehicles in many jurisdictions. 
Should a self-driving vehicle be involved in a road traffic incident, the question of blame is around who is responsible for that autonomous vehicle and the decisions that it makes. Is it the owner? Is it the person who sold it to them? Is it the person who manufactured it? Is it the software engineer who wrote the software? Or is it the manufacturer of a component that provides a sensor that puts data into the system? Is it the training regime and the trainers who trained it? Or the person who designed that training regime? Is it the software vendor, the hardware vendor, the software owner, the hardware owner? Or is it some intermediary? The answers to these questions are not clear and haven't been resolved in most jurisdictions. And until they are, to the satisfaction of users, manufacturers and intermediaries, then adoption will be slow and held up by these concerns, never mind the fact that probably autonomous self-driving vehicles are far safer than human operated vehicles. But the last question I want to address is the one that lots of people are asking. So, will agentic AI take our jobs? And the answer is yes. And without a doubt, agentic AI will take some jobs. It will displace jobs and it will change the way that organisations deliver both internal services and external customer or client facing services. That, I'm afraid, is inevitable. Human workers, possibly very many of them, will be replaced in many, if not all, industry sectors. And that includes project, program, portfolio management and PMO work. But it is too soon to know for sure how, when and to what extent this will happen in each sector. But we are seeing the early headlines around large numbers of people losing their jobs to AI. But it's not all bad news, because at the same time, New jobs are opening up in the use of AI, in its development, in its testing and in human in the loop roles. The people who understand AI and can use it and can develop it are going to be the people who are in the best jobs in the future. And again, this includes project management and all the different roles within the project's profession. One thing is for sure. The future is agentic. Please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it or learned from it. I'll be making loads more great project management videos, so please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of those videos. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.